You're at live. We are live. Hello, everybody. Grand Rising. Welcome to the People's Congregation of Shakers and Movers. I don't know what the iPad is telling us. Rebroadcasting error. Connection error. Hmm. Recover broadcast. Hmm. Broadcasting error. Connection closed by... Continue recording. We'll continue recording and then we'll post it later. Okay. Take two. <laughs> Take two. Yep. Ah, grand rising. Everybody, welcome to the People's Congregation of Shakers and Movers. It is Tuesday. It is 11 a.m. and this yep. is Rise Up Breath. Um, thank you so much for joining us. A couple of quick announcements to make. Um, this Friday night, we have an offering from Christina, one of our new members. She is a Qi Gong practitioner, as well as a massage therapist, as well as a breathwork coach. And we're going to go up to the third floor, and she's going to have this like restore and renew sound healing breathwork offering for us. So I'm really looking forward to it. I don't really know what to expect. We never know what to expect around here, but yeah. that's half the fun. Um, and then on Saturday, we have DJ Saucy Lady with her husband, Yuki. They are such amazing DJs, guys. They're such a great pair. They're a couple, they're from Japan. They just bring this amazing energy that like, I can't even, I'm so happy I'm not in yeah. school this weekend so that I can actually be here for Soul Saturday. Um, so come on down and if you're interested in supporting my mission, please go to pcsam.org. Consider signing up for our membership because every time I get 17 members, I can start a new program. So we're getting close to being able to start a weekly meditation program. So right now we have Tuesday Breathwork, Wednesday at 1 p.m. we have our midweek reset with Anna, which is a slow flow yoga class for beginners. Again, we're trying to really encourage people who maybe don't always do yoga, don't always do breath work, maybe they don't even know what breath work is. Come on down, check it out, try it. What do you have to lose, right? And, Wednesday night. and then Wednesday night, Matt is doing his midweek vibe check, um, which has been a really amazing offering. And that again is, you can tell us what that is. Yeah, it's at 7.30, yeah. um, doors open at seven. And um, it's donation based ten dollars for members and twenty for non, and uh, it's kind of like this a little bit. I, we set up all the instruments and uh, we do like a sound bath, sound healing, and we do like a little breathing, a little light meditation, and any everything that we do uh, within the body is more just finding beautiful energies within us so that we have that as a support system for our moments. Everything so we just is focus energy. on like beauty. Yes. Yeah, of, of feeling good. Right. I always say everything is energy. And it's so funny. Anybody who knows me, my children's initials are both N R G. Yeah. Say it fast. Energy, energy, energy. Oh, yeah. Right? I didn't even know I did it the first time, but then I had to do it with the second kid just yeah. because, like, then I can quantum it, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, everything is energy. I love that. Yeah. yeah. So, hopefully, we'll be offering as we grow more programs and services again. This has been an organic, you know, <laughs> experiment I guess in a way to see sort of what it is that people need right yeah. and like I know what I needed was to help calm my central nervous system after the pandemic after you know so many people isolated and I actually didn't because I continued to work I would take on all of the people coming in and expressing kind of like right. all of their you know concerns and worries and fears so I had to do a lot of work to shake that off Right. And yeah. stay strong and stay high vibe and positive because I knew everything was going to be OK. And alas, it it is. I feel good. How do you feel? Yeah. Good. Awesome. Well, I'm going to go take my place okay. on the mat. I'm very excited for the folks that are joining us today. Thank you for coming. And yeah, hope to see you guys on Saturday. Come dance with me. The more the merrier. All right, so I'm just going to invite everyone to, uh, if you're new to this or, you know, just starting to explore stuff, uh, you're going to hear me bring up the word awareness quite a bit. And so with awareness, it's meaning that, like, where are we choosing to place our attention? And so when we're doing meditation and uh, breathing or just trying sound healing, um, you know, it's common for most of us that our mind tries to stay busy, busy. And so with that being said, we can uh, 
allow for the mind to be a little busy and we can allow for thoughts to arise. And so the difference here is just being an observer, which would mean to actually speak to the thought. So I could just be like, yeah, I know you're here. I know I have to deal with this later today, but it's not time for me to sit with you now. You know, or maybe it's just, um, you know, something comes up from the past or whatever. And so if we bring our awareness to, like, acknowledging a thought and then bringing our awareness back to the breath. So just lightly just tuning in to, like, how is your body breathing you right now? And just breathing in the way that not trying to force that, just feeling into how are you breathing right now? Breathing in the sounds, breathing in my voice. And maybe just allowing for the body to breathe you for a moment. Maybe there's a big inhale needed or a large exhale. Maybe I just really need to blow some air out, make some sound. Maybe the body's asking for a stretch or light movement as we're settling in and tuning into how we're breathing. Just allowing for the body to kind of like permissioning the body to do what it needs through the breath, through movement, through stretching. for the system to quiet down. Maybe permissioning self to take a break right now. Permissioning self to maybe bring awareness to how I'm breathing. Maybe drawing the breath into the belly if that feels okay for you. Allowing for the sound to maybe help soften our body. Maybe having awareness of anything that may be feeling a little heavy or congested. And allowing for the sound to maybe break up that heaviness, to d disperse it, maybe expand it out throughout the body or outside of you. On that out breath, maybe bringing a softness to this area that felt heavy a moment ago. A little bit lighter as we breathe into it, the sound, the breath. body is asking for, maintaining the awareness of maybe breathing in and out through the nose, is the invitation here is to focus on maybe breathing in and out through the nose, helping to bring the nervous system and the body into a softer place.
breathing in and out through the nose, just maintaining that awareness. Maybe even permissioning self to lose track of the breath or to breathe in a different way and it just kind of naturally happens. And if so, just permissioning self that that is okay. It's a normal part of the process. So we're going to invite in a breath hold if that is comfortable for you. We're going to take a nice deep breath in through the nose up to the top of the head and hold. And then just release when you're ready. So in three, two, one, nice deep, 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 deep breath all the way up. Going to a light hold. Exhaling in whatever manner feels correct for you. And the invitation here for you is to just drop in to how are you feeling now. Just gently bringing our awareness and our attention back to the breath for a moment. Invitation here to breathe in through the nose and then out through the mouth, changing up our breathing pattern for a moment if this is comfortable for you. Nice inhale through the nose. Be bringing the air into the stomach, up through the chest, and out through the mouth. And just dropping into the sensation of breathing. And 
maybe for the first time in your life bringing awareness to how it actually feels to breathe. The process of the ribs moving apart. Stomach, how the air flows from the mouth down to the stomach. system down a little bit when we bring awareness to it. For awareness really is what helps us to open and see more clearly any gifts that are being offered. attention and our awareness to our breathing, how it's feeling within our system, how it may maybe be a guide or a blanket to the softening of our system. You know, a lot of times when we think of relaxing or taking a break, we're maybe putting a movie on or the TV or, or, um, you know, maybe doing some exercise and, you know, there's nothing incorrect. Um, it's just like sometimes we need a little bit of any of it, right? And that's okay. But a lot of times we're not taught or we forget that the breath can also be a tool to help take a break and to kind of maybe settle into, like, how we're doing right now. And so as we're settling into the voice for a moment in the last few weeks, we've been talking quite a bit about like manifesting and what are we creating for this upcoming year. And 
And so today I would like to just invite in a little food for thought as we go through this process. If you are energetically trying to create an energy of something that you desire or want in art, in life, When we start, when that thing is starting to maybe come into your alignment or coming into your reality, but it's still kind of not there. And But as we're kind of like setting the energy and putting it out to the universe of how something feels when we already have it before we have it, which is kind of, I think, what we talked about last week a little bit. So what happens during this process? And so one of the things that can happen is that the universe will offer us something which for the most part may not go as planned and it may create or bring up an old pattern that's easy to fall into. And so sometimes like this thing might arise and we quickly drop into like a pattern maybe of self-sabotage or using negative words like this always happens to me. But when we can observe and step back and take a break and drop into the breath, we can maybe look at this moment that is arising and maybe instead of like self-sabotage, we could even question it or talk to it and be like, why is this occurring? What What is the offering here? Is this prepping me so that I can actually hold what I'm asking for? Because if we're asking for something and we're really energetically not there, it may not come or it may take a long time. And so things may come up within our journey, within our day, within our moments. That test us. And then are we falling back into an old behavior, pattern, thought process, self-sabotage? Or are we energetically staying in tune with what we're asking for and maybe redirecting that energy of this event and seeing if we can actually hold it? Regardless if it goes our way or another way. So maybe just an invitation here to think of any moments maybe where this week or today that have come up for you. And did you maybe discover self going into an old pattern of the same old, same old? And if that's a yes for you, my invitation to you is to just breathe into that feeling. And then on the out breath, kind of like pushing it and letting it release. And shifting that energy a little bit more into acceptance so that we can see more clearly the message.
taking a moment, keeping that awareness to your breathing, and just an invitation here to breathe in the sound for a few minutes. Maybe breathing it into any areas of you that are a little heavy or feeling discomfort. Or if there's anything that you're healing, an injury, maybe bringing our awareness to different points of the body that just might need sound. invitation here to breathe in and out through the mouth. Just really breathing with the whole system. And not only breathing in and out through the mouth and nose. The invitation here is to feel into like every piece of skin, every cell. And on your in-breath, just feel the body breathing with you from the toes, from the soles of the feet, to the shin, to the knee, hips, stomach, heart, hands, ears, your head. Just a little discovery of breathing with our body as a whole. For when we bring our awareness to something we can create that reality, the sensation of breathing with your whole system, allowing this to soften maybe even deeper. So let's play with our awareness. And the invitation here is to bring your awareness to the spine, right behind the heart. Bringing one's attention, awareness to the spine, right behind the heart, and breathing into this space. And as we breathe into this space, just allowing for any light or circle or anything to come to light. And then on the out breath, breathing the energy from the spine directly to the heart itself. And just imagining that for a moment.
maybe on the next few out breaths, inviting and in, allowing for this energy from the heart to expand throughout the body, to cover every aspect within us, on the surface of our skin, maybe even feeling the energy grow around us. And just a light reminder that the heart en energy is such a beautiful way or an energy to lead us into our actions throughout the day. For if we can come from this space of the heart, how might that change or effect not falling back into like the old pattern or statements or whatever. I'm just feeling that heart energy for another moment today. And everything, as everything begins to soften, the invitation here is to breathe into the softness of the sound, into the system. And regardless of how faint it may become, but to keep our awareness to it, and bringing it in.
And just gently bringing your awareness back to maybe the ground that you lay upon or sit on. Maybe bringing awareness to the contact points of the feet or the legs or the back to whatever surface you may be on. Maybe gently just smiling and as you reawaken and re-enter your space to bring in a smile and just breathe into the sensation of a smile and how it feels. As you kind of reawaken and maybe move and stretch and just align for the smile to come back into this space with you, keeping the invitation to keep the awareness on the sensation of the smile as you re-enter the space. Begin to lightly move around, maybe lightly open your eyes and smiling at whatever it is that you see. It doesn't matter if it's the ceiling, the floor, person, a pet, or maybe you're just smiling into nothing. How are you guys doing out there? <laughs> yeah, right over there? Yeah. Maybe I went somewhere. Yeah, so just a reminder, uh, our apologies for, uh, we just had a little blurb at the beginning, so this is just going to be a recorded going out to our community and to the world today. And uh, so we just wanted to stay with the flow and just decided to record it instead of maybe taking time to see what the issue was. And um, yeah, just a light reminder that Anna will be on tomorrow. Uh, I'll have the sound healing breath work Wednesday night, Friday night. Christine, I'm excited for that. Yeah, Christine is offering. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah, that was great. I love the having to smile. <laughs> like, it's like you feel so silly. Yeah. <laughs> In like a weird way, right? Like, I don't know why. I like almost burst out laughing. Did you? Um, yeah, which I'm sure it would have been totally fine. Um, yeah, no, I love. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about the frequency, um, particularly like when you were talking about the heart? Um, does one of these bowls correspond with the heart chakra? Yeah, chakra. so when it's I was. Chakra. Yeah, I yeah say that so when I was. When I was. Talking about the heart, I was actually only playing these two, which is a specific frequency for the heart. And so because it's the crystal and the uh, copper. Together. I mean, yeah, it's. Um, Did you guys feel that? Like, like, so this is a specific, this is specific <laughs> to the heart. This is the throat. This is the third eye. This is the root. This is the heart again, actually. This uh, this one here is the sacral. And I had one on the floor as well, which is for the solar. Yeah, the frequency. And so again. sometimes when we 
talk about like when I do like breathwork piece or do something like the heart, like I'll play very specific like little pattern to help sink into the heart that the heart's gonna respond to. And that's when I came around. So you didn't see this on camera, but with this, because I can carry it, I actually went up to everyone in here and did this, which can sometimes be pretty profound yeah. as well too. And even like the other thing, thing that's also beautiful too, with the sound or with, especially with the Tibetan bowls is, um, you know, that we can hold them. Yeah, I, or I can just place it on you and then we can allow, cause sometimes too, like we're so disconnected, mm -hmm. right? And so sometimes when I'm working with someone who really doesn't know how to feel, like sometimes like, I don't want to bring you into something that like is trauma or negative or like, we need to dig into this to teach you how to feel. No, like let's learn how to feel like through beauty and love and compassion and something that's really beautiful. And so sometimes this can also help us with that process of learning to actually how to feel in the body. Because the thing, whatever's out here, we're always grabbing for to protect us from having to feel. Mm -hmm. Anger, everything. Everything is protecting us. But in the end, we really want to feel. Oh, yeah, it's so grounding. Yeah, yeah, it's really beautiful. You can sit, you can, I can sit here all day and do this. Right? We, you guys are the past yeah. around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, this is just, again, like, we try to translate this on a podcast. Yeah. It's kind of hard because I think it is a lot. Um, it's just, it's, like, you know, being in the room with the vibration and frequency, it just, like, you can feel it in your cells, you know, and it's very repairing. I think they call 528 is, like, the frequency of love and, yeah. you know, harmony, and it helps ease anxiety. You know, which is, I think, something that, you know, everybody struggles with right now in this day and age. Um, it's just managing, you know, all of the things that we're juggling. So, you know, taking these pauses and these, you know, moments to be still is such a newer concept for yeah. my body and my, like, hummingbird energy. Um, so I can truly say that I, I have been just, you know, more clear and, like, what I want, you know, and just, like, happier so I hope that these things are helping everybody out there also yeah. and everybody in the room because, again, we're here to explore new modalities for healing that maybe we weren't used to growing up. Yeah. So, you know, I love you all for joining us. Again, PCSAM.org. Support the mission. Join the vibe. Um, and, again, we are a benevolent charity dedicated to just raising the vibration for all mankind. So whether that's with our vinyl records or whether that's with Matt's singing bowls, we're just taking it one day at a time. Uh, thank you. I love you and hope to see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>